Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC coming to you from the Avon Park Aero Modelers Club. Well, you watched the unboxing and the build and the radio setup of the X-Fly Sirius. Now we're going to do the Maiden. The only thing I've done with this plane is have dro uh, drive it around a driveway, do a range test. Right, left, up, down, right, left. All right, it's just the way I, I did add a KM model afterburner to her, like I said I might, and uh, one of my high rates, which are 100% throws over 30% expo, all the way around. All right, timer set for three and a half minutes. Here we go. Well, she lifted right up. Hey, I got that battery back a little too far. A little, little bit, a little bit tail heavy. Yeah, a little bit tail heavy. But that's okay. I can deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, she flies good. I just need to move that battery a little bit farther forward. Gear down. Landing flaps. I, I don't notice any uh, any pitching. Any, yeah, well, she's going nosing up a little bit. I'm gonna have to move that battery. She's still a little too far, a little too far back. Come on. Yeah, I gotta move that battery forward a little bit. She's too tail heavy for me, for my liking. But I'm used to, when I've flown this plane before, I had her with a uh, 5,000, so. Let me move that battery back forward just a little bit, where she's not quite so, quite so tail heavy. And I should get a little bit better performance out of her. But you know, you can do all the testing and all the CG balancing and everything you want on the bench. But until you get that bird in the air, you really don't know how she's going to fly. You could, I mean, don't get me wrong, don't neglect your setting her up on the bench. Get her, get her as trim and to set up the best you can on the bench that you can. But the true test will be in the air all right let's see if that doesn't improve a little bit i moved her forward about a solid inch and all right right left up down all right get her turned around let's try that again and see if that doesn't improve give her a little more of a locked in feel Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, that's worlds better. Worlds better. Much better. Definitely. I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit of elevator to, uh, um, flat mix because she does balloon an awful lot flaps up. 20 seconds. all right that was definitely what I consider a successful maiden picked up some hitchhikers here <laughs> all right prop secured. prop secured let's check the tank and let me show you where i ended up with that battery 
all right like i said you can check it all day long by it because that that cg for the 4000 is right there and that cg is wrong it needs to be if you're going to put a 4000 you see where i've got it marked that's where i had it well i put it up to here and boy she she's much more locked in now that might be good for a 5000 but for a 4000 right about there so i'll know i'll put about a, a good inch in between the firewall or the uh there and that's where i'll put that 4000 and that's a good spot for it so let's see how much is left in the tank uh, i do have the fire uh, wall or uh, the uh afterburner i don't even know why i plugged it in you can't see as bright as it is right now but uh 29 percent so i don't dare try taking her up again but well, that is the x fly cirrus and uh as you can see i got some cobwebs or something on there but really good gear she sounds good good looking plane and uh i'm very pleased banana hobby thank you for letting me review this for you um thank you for cutting me a really good deal on it so i can uh, afford to get it and thank you folks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and don't forget faith family and friends and then jets Bye bye